Yeah, yeah, I know. I told you that I would. I told you that I would, and I will. What part of this don't you understand? I need to get going. I will. I will be there. I get it. I will. Okay, I need to go. I need to go. Bye. <sighs> How annoying. Isn't that so annoying when you're waiting for someone and someone's just on the phone and won't get off? So annoying. <sighs> that reminds me. Last night, I got together with some people, less than 10 people, over six feet apart, and we were having a serious discussion when someone came in and they were dressed in such a wild way that it completely stopped what we were doing. All of our attention went over to the person. All of us were thinking, what in the world is this person doing? All the attention went over there. We never even got back to our normal conversation. It was so rude, it was inappropriate. The food was delicious though. Food was delicious and that makes me, that makes me really hungry. So, oh God. Now, on the way home, I was driving behind this car and they littered. Do you know what that means? It means they took garbage and they threw it out their window. They didn't care. They didn't care if other people had to clean up after them. It was just like, oh, I'm done with it, so whatever. And it was so incredibly rude. I just couldn't believe that they did it. And I'm thirsty. Hold on. That was a chip. Um, and we live on an island, and it's beautiful. And so why on earth would anyone litter? It just... It's so upsetting to me. But you know what really annoys me? When people argue and they, they get all angry when they're arguing. You know, we can disagree, we can have a talk, we can stay calm, we can even argue a little bit, but why the people who get so angry when they're arguing and it just gets louder and louder and it gets so upset, I just, I don't get it. What are you doing? I cannot believe you came in here. I am recording a kid sermon for Sunday, and you just walk on in. You didn't know that we were recording. I don't care. It's wrong. Get out. I cannot believe you're doing this. Where was I? Completely lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. So annoyed when people yell, when they argue, and. Oops. Ta-da! No, it wasn't magic. We turned the camera off, I changed my clothes, I came back. Not magic. All right, now, what was I just doing? I was criticizing other people for doing things that really annoyed me when I was doing the same things, and I didn't even notice. It can be easy to see what other people are doing that either annoy us or are wrong, but it can be hard for us to see when we're doing that too. What if we ask God to help us see when we're doing wrong things that other people are doing? We can't change other people as much as we sometimes want to. We can't change other people. We can only change ourselves. Sometimes changing ourselves can be so hard. Sometimes it seems like it's not possible. We just can't do it. But as we know, Jesus said that with God, all things are possible. When we ask Jesus to help us to change for the better, he will help us. But it's not magic. Just like my changing my clothes, hopefully for the better, was not magic. We don't say the words, pray the prayer, and then ta-da, we're all of a sudden better. We need to work to improve ourselves. Now, Jesus will show us the things that we're doing wrong. And then we need to choose to change and choose to put the effort into changing. God will help us every step of the way. But we need to practice living the way God wants us to live. Let's stop focusing on how everybody else should change and ask God to help us change. Bye, I miss you.